This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This article here is called Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Interview with Oprah Loses Emmy to Italian Cooking Show. Now, I really like Italian food and Mexican food, two of my favorites, so I'm happy to see that Italian food beat out Meghan Markle. And some people off the bat might be thinking, why is this important? I mean, it's just a story about Italian food. Well, here's the thing. You gotta think about it. Meghan Markle is using her connection to the royals and Harry as a way to try to get famous and build herself up in this world. And it's something I don't really find quite tasteful or, I should say, respectable. So to see that get beat out by Italian food, that is the story. That's what we're talking about here, to be clear. It was their first media appearance after their announcement that they were quitting their royal duties. So they announce they're leaving the royals, they go on Oprah, one of the biggest talk show platforms in the world, if not the biggest, I think, and they get beat out by, well, I'm not exactly sure what dishes beat them out. Could be spaghetti, could be lasagna, whatever. Let's take a look at what we got. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's famed interview with Oprah Winfrey couldn't beat out a show about Italian food and culture for an Emmy. The royal couple's controversial interview lost out to Stanley Tucci searching for Italy and my next guest needs no introduction, David Letterman, a six-part series that explores Italian cuisine and culture in the best hosted non-fiction series category. And Meghan and Harry is also non-fiction. Winfrey hosted a two-hour interview with the couple on CBS in their first media appearance after their announcement that they were quitting their royal duties and moving to California with Winfrey and her team being nominated for an Emmy after the event was watched by more than 49 million people in three days. That's serious. That is a really, really big number. I mean, if the U.S. has about 325 million people, that is a high percentage, if you think about it, of people watching. Hell, Japan's got 126 million people, so that's like a third of the population of Japan, if you can imagine, in proportion. But they got beat out by some Italian food. The famed couple generated significant controversy because of the interview, most notably because Markle accused the royal family of being concerned about the color of skin of the couple's first child. Marco also told the TV host that the stress of being a royal newlywed nearly pushed her to suicide. The interview also saw Harry reveal the extent of the rift he was having with his brother, telling Winfrey that he and Prince William are on different paths. Gotta give a big no shit to that. As I've said before, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. I mean, we have a shared experience, but we're on different paths, the prince said. And here it is. By the way, a CNN original series. Well, I guess I agree with CNN on that. Definitely have an original series about Italian food. Anyway, I thought this was a nice little report here. As I said, some people might be confused, like it's just some video about Meghan Markle and Italian food, but the heart of the matter is that Meghan Markle got beat out by a cooking show. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider it. And if you don't subscribe, well, I'll be pretty sad about it, but I'll get over it. See you next time.